world where everything is online, two best friends went the other way and have opened up Connecticut's first romance bookstore in Chester that I would call cute as a button. Its name, Montgomery and Taggart Bookshop. My guests are Sarah Borgness Tobin and Elizabeth Tucker. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. All right, your best friends, when did you meet? How long ago? About oh. 10 years? Yeah. Oh, 10 years. Okay, so who said, I have an idea, let's start a business and let's make it a romance bookshop? It was we took turns. Yeah. <laughs> It was very much a mutual uh, sort of thing. Uh, Sarah said, let's quit our jobs and do something. And I said, let's make it a romance bookshop. Is this your sole job? Yes. yes. So you did. We're all in. Oh, yeah. We are all in. <laughs> what, what did you do beforehand? For the past 10 years, I worked at the Clinton Public Library. Um, and I did a lot of outdoor uh, events mm -hmm. in programming. So you were into and, books already. Yeah. And how about you? What did you leave behind? Uh, well, we met at that same library, oh, okay. um, but I, library. you know, had a job in a different private sector for a while, and now here we are. Okay, so you opened six weeks ago. It is a charming place that I would call a cottage in the Cotswolds, mm -hmm. like in England. Um, you have brought in some books here. Mm -hmm. Is this significant of what you have in the shop? And is it all romance? It is, uh, the majority of it is romance. Um, there is a little bit of a sort of thematic nonfiction about relationships, about wellness, about health and body and, uh, you know, sort of female empowerment. Writing. Um, yes, writing, yes. But this is very much uh, representative of what we carry. Uh, we have a local author, Victoria Wilder, who lives here Love in that. Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, we have books, uh, you know, about various sports, uh, about characters of color by authors of color. Uh, Jude Devereaux is the great old school romance author who uh, wrote about the Montgomerys and the Taggarts. So many people ask where the name of our shop yeah, came from. That's the inspiration. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, and this is one of a great example of one of those. And then a little bit of, a, you know, paranormal LGBTQ mm -hmm. plus um, for the holidays. New release. New release. You, just came out today. today. So you yes. girls know your books. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a community are you trying to build there? We are so excited to be a part of the Chester community. The merchants there have embraced us so warmly. We couldn't wish for a better town to be a part of. Um, we're so excited to participate in some of their seasonal events. If you've never been to Chester in the winter time, Adorable. it's magic. So many movies. Right. Oh, yeah. So we're welcoming all of that that already exists, along with people who are seeking that romance community to come in, find their people, find their books, and also people who are curious. Maybe romance is not your genre, but we would like you to try and we'd like to help you find that book. So do you have events? Do you have author events? I mean, I know you're just getting going. <laughs> we will, absolutely. Yeah, I'm really excited to start putting dates on the calendar. We'll share those out through our social media. Um, we will have author talks and signings, absolutely. Parties, you know, perhaps a, a little themed tea party. Yes. Halloween, seasonal, spooky party. Yes, we're certainly For got sure. that on the radar. And it's uh, very much on our radar that next year is uh, Jane Austen's 250th birthday. Oh. So the we're inventor of now. the genre mm -hmm. is you'll, you'll uh, be back here then. <laughs> that, that will be a huge event. of course so, something for valentine's and yes. galentine's day yes sure. is it everything uh, again you've only been into the six weeks but how hard was this to get this baby open um it will take years to recover. <laughs> no, but um, the building became available uh, very quickly. You know, we had been in sort of the nation planning stages for quite some time, and um, the the building sort of fell into our laps. And so, as Sarah likes to say, we had to get ready. You know, we weren't ready. We had to get ready. But it's also something I think that when you are ready, it's just as hard to not do it as it is sure. to do it. And we were ready. Yes. And so it just it it, we, it was time. Well, Elizabeth, Sarah, congratulations. You did it. Thank you. Open, We're so and, excited. And I wish you well. And thanks so much for coming on. Thank you for having Our us. Our pleasure. I appreciate it. And if you'd like to know more about Montgomery and Taggart in Chester, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app.